Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and <coughs> today we're back playing Genome Guardian. So the creator, the developer of Genome Guardian, um Alferior was nice enough to gift me a you know, give me a gift me a, a key for the game. So now I have the full it's not just the prologue, I'm actually playing the full game this time. Um Research, all that stuff is the same weapons as well. But I have more turrets that I can unlock, which is going to be nice. And then, oh, and Diesel actually has something. Okay. Okay. Fire rate. Okay. 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 I'm going to stick with focus, I think, just so I can try to get something crazy. Um... But we'll see how this goes. I was told uh, things are much, um, much more difficult in in this. Where you know, where it's like with the prologue, obviously, I you could only reach wave like twenty. So and apparently, that's like surface level when it comes to this game and how crazy it can get. So let's let's see how it goes. Um do I want sticky again? It was fun. I could like I was like laying landmines and stuff around. Um See yeah, I've already unlocked some things like the nuke um uh, um so maybe I should try some other stuff I haven't tried this one yet so I think I will try that I don't know how much sticky is going to cost ah I went the wrong way with it it's fine I'll just I'll lock it it doesn't really matter anyways because I know the shotgun costs uh, 20. So I could have... Um, could have gotten both and saved a little bit. I mean, I would have saved like 5 biomass, but... Still. I am... I'm, I'm, I really want to get like a really good sticky build. I want to see what kind of chaos I can cause. Um, so we're just going to have one shotgun. One G. And then we'll have um, honestly when I had the, the when I had that ball um, that was fun. I'm trying to remember what I needed for that. I'll have to check. Because honestly, when I had that, that was awesome. Um, what was it? Oh, AGTT. That's right. Oh, I could... I could... Tr hmm. Should I try something? I'm gonna... I'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this video as exploration. That's what this is gonna be. I'm gonna be exploring the different possibilities of things. And seeing what kind of what kind of like archetypes and synergies there are. What kind of weapons are available to me. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully uh, nothing too bad. <laughs> gonna hope for the best um hope for the best prepare for the worst yeah see the only problem is now it's like yes it is sticky but unless you hit it dead on it's not gonna explode so
At least not not for a second at least, so. Completely insane. We'll go with that. Um And so I need another um another thing. Another bomb. And we'll see how it goes. With that okay, that was close. A lot closer than I wanted it to be. But yeah, anything that's gonna have a huge like area of effect and also it synergizes with sticky is going to be crazy that's at least my initial reaction to this shield pistol see i could get the pistol and then discover something new but I think I'll wait. Yeah, see, like, I could have gotten that guy right there, but... Because it doesn't explode anymore. It's a little annoying. Size... Yeah, see, that would be good, actually. This... Because increasing the size of it is going to be really good as well. Not so much range. Range isn't that big of a deal. Um, if anything, I would say range is probably worse. But size is all, size is very important. So, sorry guys, sorry men. Size is important. I've already made that joke before, but I wanted to make it again. Megatop, a huge Molotov like damage area area weapon that produces a giant circular area which hurts microbes while they're hit in, while they're in it. Size increases can allow for control of the entire battlefield. Oh Yeah, so... See, this is nice and everything, but it doesn't quite synergize with Sticky very well. But it's, it's fine. It's fine. Wave time, don't really care about that. Size, less size, no. We don't want that. We want more size. More money, maybe? I don't I don't feel like more money is really necessary right now, at least. Because the idea my my thought process is basically focus on size, damage, those types of things. Because you're going to, as long as I can survive, I'm going to be earning money. And eventually I'm going to get to a point where I can't buy. What is the way? Oh, is it just like they can't be knocked back? As I'm assuming that's what that means and doesn't really matter to me that much. But yeah, I'm just thinking like as long as I can survive... Then eventually I'm going to get to a point where money really isn't going to mean much to me anymore. Because I'm just going to be able to have everything. Um, so early on, and since there is like a limit to how sh like strong you can get, using one of those slots for money just doesn't feel like it's worth it. Because eventually money is going to become worthless, whereas... Everything else is gonna be is gonna be useful and like until the very end. Whereas, like like I said, with money, it's limited to how useful it's gonna be. It's useful, like you know, beginning and middle, but in the end, it's basically useless. Unless there's something that benefits from the more from having more biomass 
then maybe, maybe then you could get something good, but yeah, let's go for more size there. Like at that point, I guess I could see there being something, some sort of beneficial thing that you could, like some sort of claim that you could make for wanting more biomass. I'm not sure if that's a thing in this game, but... Where, where it's like the more money you have, the more... Um, the more damage a weapon does, or the faster your fire rate is. Some, you know, something like that. I feel like... If they, d if they don't have something like that, I feel like they should. That might already be a suggestion that Alfurier has had, but it's definitely something that I would suggest as well. Obviously, it's not super important, but it's just something that I thought about while playing. It is nice to see how, like, um, responsive Alferior is to his community. Because I, 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 I mean, I joined, I, like, I was um, seeing how Alferior, like, kind of responds and stuff to people, like, people in his community and stuff. And it's like, he, like, he genuinely, he's very responsive, so... It's very nice to see. Can I get some stuff that's going to benefit me, please? Like, these microbes are definitely going to get stronger very quickly. And I need something that's also going to get stronger, not just say, stay the same. Like, right now, obviously, yes, I'm able to mostly deal with the microbes at hand. But eventually, I'm going to get to a point where... I'm not going to quite be able to deal with them. Also, I feel like less wave time is actually probably worse. Because the way that I'm thinking about it is... The shorter the wave time, the less enemies are going to come out. Which, yes, is a good thing. But it also means the less money you're going to earn before the... Before stronger enemies start showing up. So if you get like less wave time early on. I feel like that could actually be a bad thing. Because you're not going to have as much money. I have 200 biomass. And I can't spend it on anything. This thing is really good for, like, dealing with... The bo the bomb in general is just so good in this game because it's able to deal with, like... Because like, obviously it destroys the projectiles that a unit shoots out. Shoots out, it, like, it destroys any, like, smaller... Oh, yeah. It destroys any, like, smaller um, enemies that might show up. So, like, overall, it's just really good. But, yeah, like I said, Sticky doesn't really do too well with this. But it was an interest. It was it was worth a worth a try, I feel like. And I mean, like, it does kind of work. It has its... It, it, it could... It could work, I feel like. Definitely, like I said, definitely has its uses. Sticky is really good, though, for, like, most situations, I feel like. But it's just when it comes to this weapon, I don't feel like it's... As good as it could be with, like, 
compared to how it is with like some other um other weapons like i said with like that bouncy or not the bouncy ball but like the the ball thing um it was really good with that because it would just like stay on the screen and you could like cover the whole edge of the screen with just that ball Oh my gosh, I'm not getting. And the, in, in case anyone's curious, um, never mind. I can't. I can't go back to see. But basically, if you want to know, just look at my last video, and it's it's. Um, I believe it's the last wep the last weapon I covered in that video. But yeah, I'm still yet to find out really what even most of the synergies look like so I'm very excited to find out if I can ever get more modifiers I'm reaching wave freaking 23 and I can't even get another modifier for my weapon At least not one that's like beneficial to me that I actually want and need like a size modifier size modifier would be great that is what I need size modifiers can you increase the size please but can it be something that I can use oh my gosh I have 451 my re I'm pretty I don't I'm pretty sure I can now buy anything with my re the amount of research points I have. This guy is juking the crap out of me. Sticky, I mean, okay, okay. I take it back. Sticky is fairly good with this. Do I want... Okay. If I cut the fire rate in half... I end up with three projectiles. And obviously, like, yeah, no, three projectiles instead of just one. So I basically... Like... It's like 1.5 times more damage. Less reliability, though, when it comes to fast targets, especially smaller enemies. But hopefully it should be okay. I just have to be careful. Because fast, small enemies are going to basically be my kryptonite. At least until I can get something that's going to like cover the screen, basically. Um, I, uh, I want size. I want size. I want something that's going to be able to cover the screen. I really do. That's, that's my goal here is to get something that's going to like cover the screen, basically. I might already be unable to do that because of how many modifiers I've kind of taken that aren't particularly beneficial to that goal, but and that would just go to four, yeah. My gosh. I need, okay, I also need some turret mods. Can I get some turret mods, please? Like, please, game. 
really appreciate some turret mods right now. Oh my gosh. Or don't give me anything that I ask for. That's typically how things go in this game. Or in games. I don't typically get what I want. Um, we'll go with that. Oh, that's not good. You never want to hear the sound of, hear that sound at the end of, of something. It sounds like something out of, like, the back rooms. The extra fire rate is really nice, though. Extra fire rate definitely made up for for that. Okay. I thought you just beat the game. A little instruction. Future challenges will be tougher. Beginner tips are now off in settings. Then the guide has a new advanced page. Or shmup mode from setup. Or press onward for more research before you retreat. Um. I think I'm going to do setup. I'm pretty sure I can basically buy everything at, at this point. Okay, not everything yet, but then again, those turrets I'm not huge fan of anyways. Everything kind of outside of... Outside of what I already have is kind of what I want to keep. I think I'll keep the bomb. Okay, let's see. It's raining dip in this vertical shoot em up. What does this look like? Oh, interesting. This game has so much in it. Like it's actually, it's actually crazy. Okay, so Pierce. Let's get the pistol. Dumb fire rocket, quick and accurate, explosive slug. Okay. I feel like homing would be really good for this for this mode. Do you earn anything for this or is it just for the funsies? Feels like it's probably just for the funsies. I'm gonna go for anti Oh, I've already gotten that before. Okay, then let's not go let's see. Let us look that splits into a spray of explosive pellets whilst for accurately positioning your cluster of bombs. Whoa. Yeah, that seems very accurate. I don't know about you, but... I'm not sure if I really trust it when it says, Oh, it allows you to accurately... I mean, you can kind of position it, but not really. Um... Uh... Splitter spitter. Uh, throw out, and each of those split into three. Uh, this weapon can convert that with lime colored critters. Ooh, homing on this would be cool. 
little bit more accuracy on this would also be very cool. Is it even, is it homing? It kind of feels like it might be. But at the same time, also feels like it's not accurate at all. In the slightest. Yeah, I'm starting to think it probably is not accurate. Bouncing this, though, is going to be good. Because they, because instead of going off the screen, they just bounce off the screen. Okay, this, I feel like this is going to be good. Especially with homing, if you get homing on this thing. Oh my gosh, I feel like that's going to be really good. I'm, I'm, at least I'm assuming homing is going to do something. Uh, we'll go with less speed. See, there we go. Homing was going to be good. More projectiles, I feel like, could be okay, but at the same time, eh. Maybe I should have saved it. I don't know. Maybe sticky would be good with this. I don't know. Also, it also kind of seems like they get stuck in the corner of the screen sometimes. Or like even like at the top of the screen. So do the little guys get homing too? I think they do. Because like the big guy definitely gets homing. You can tell. So I'm curious if the little guys get homing too. I wonder if I decrease the speed of it, how good that would be. Speaking of which... <laughs> It doesn't really feel like the little guys have homing. Or, okay, maybe they... Yeah, they do, they do, okay. So we have extra homing on this. Less fire rate, obviously. But if we increase the size, I'm curious how that's gonna go. I'm curious if I could just kind of, like, hold this down. Like, hold down left click. Okay, well, eventually you do have to let go, but... More homing. <laughs> nah, more homing is not gonna be worth it. I think with how much homing I already have, I feel like that's enough. So yeah, this is going very well so far, I would say. Oh my gosh, they just want to keep giving me everything that I want right now. Did I just win the lottery or something? What is happening? Maybe decreased speed wasn't such a good thing, but... Mm. We'll go with that, I guess. What happens if you can get, if you get, like, multiple bounces? What happens then? I'm also curious if there's a way to kind of, like, basically, like, turn this into, like, almost an idle game with this, where it's like, you just... Is there a way to decrease the heat even while you're attacking? 
power up chance. And not sure if that's really all that necessary for me. Oh, health. I you could and you could have so much health. I don't think that's gonna matter though, which sucks. But I don't think it will. Also, at the same time, I kind of just want more stuff that's gonna just make it basically just fire more, just fire faster. So I'm going to try to focus on just fire rate rather than really anything else. Because I just want to see the whole screen basically fill with these little critters. And have basically nothing left on the screen afterwards. Yeah, health is full. Yeah. Oh, I could... Decrease the size by a little bit, but increase the fire rate by a little. Yeah, sure. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, look at that. I can just hold it down. Goes around destroying everything. Look at that. They're doing so well. So proud of them. Chroming. Yeah. yeah, none of those are good. Can't use any of them. This is fun. This is fun. I'm having a good time. I don't, am I, am I even earning research? I am, okay. I am, because I'm up to 1100, whereas before I was at like 800 or something like that. So I am earning research points. I'm pretty sure the other thing is better when it comes to research points, but... Definitely have earned some research points from this. Not a lot, but some here and there. Uh, but the wall. Oh, we'll go with that. More projectiles, but less accuracy. You know what? Let's go for it. So now there's two of them. Oh, yeah, it does say research rate. I'm stupid. I mean, it doesn't really matter how insane they are, because the... Because they're going to get targeted either way, no matter what happens. Because I have homing, so... They can move as crazy as they want to. They're still going to get hit. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. Look at that. There's basically never a moment in time now where there aren't little splitter critters roaming around. That's what I'm going to call them, splitter critters. I'm curious, like, how, does this ever actually get harder, or is it just like this forever? Because, I'll be honest, kind of getting boring, kind of becoming the same old enemies, constantly getting evaporated by my 
army of splitter critters. I have one more, one more turret mod, so hopefully that can, whatever I get for that will be worth it, hopefully. Still definitely need to look for more synergies, so probably not going to test it here, but definitely do want to test out some more stuff. Okay, wave 20. Is it how difficult is this going to be? Is this even going to be difficult at all? We'll see. Oh, triple fire rate. Oh yeah, just what I needed. <laughs> yeah, this is a little little absurd. Cooling delay. I yeah, see cooling delay. I I I would prefer something that's gonna make it so that it cools even while I'm firing. Like maybe like a cool on elimination. I think there is something like that. If I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Oh. Other than for healing, the shop is basically useless to me. No. I don't have anything left. Oh, yeah, that's actually really nice. Okay, well, I'm not sure how far I can go with this, but I'm pretty sure I do have... Basically, I can basically afford everything in the research shop, so... We're gonna We're gonna do that. So I'm gonna try out that turret. We'll do that we'll do that next time. I'll show off the the jester turret. I think for now I'm going to retreat, yeah, because I have so much money, but... <sighs> oh. Oh yeah, we're definitely using that in the next video. Oh, 100%. Classic mode? What does that even mean? What is classic mode? No biomass, heal button, and slots can pre-purchase, but you must pick one shop item after each wave. Interesting. Okay, so they all are available. So there's no biomass. I, I, so I just choose, so everything is like, 
so everything's just available to me, but I have to choose it. Am I understanding this correctly? Probably not. Okay, I am. Um, what do I want? Oh, but you have to choose something. You have to. Okay. Let's try... You know what? We could go shotgun. Have the blast shotgun, and then... And you can only choose one thing. So if you if you see like a couple things, definitely need to lock one of them because you're only gonna be able to buy one or be able to choose one. Got it. I think I'm gonna try uh, going for um, yeah, split Zuka. I think I'm gonna try to go for that thing. Whatever that may be. So we'll get the, the split Zooka. And then we'll try... Again, I just feel like healing is just really good. Okay. I'm gonna try rail split shot, a bouquet of multi-detonating explosive pellets packed into an accurately fired slug. The slug peppers an area with a dozen explosions on splitting open. Hey, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm a, I'm a. I think we're gonna try something a little bit different. I think I'll keep going for bombs until. Basically, I think at this point I'm just gonna try to unlock all the synergies. And then we'll give it a try. Okay. Yeah, I need to try more with the submachine gun. I haven't really tried those much. So we'll try like a sticky. So yeah, obviously we have the blast shotgun. I'm gonna try to get some um, some submachine guns to pair with this and see what kind of synergy or what kind of destruction we can cause. I could definitely see there being like a Wikipedia page for this to kind of show what all the different um, to show what all the different like weapons are that you can create. I could definitely see that happening. Like not like an actual Wikipedia page, but I'm just saying like for like. Like, you know those websites, though, they'll, they'll have, like, pages for, like, games and stuff. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what the right wording for that would be, but. More projectiles, but less range. That sounds good to me. Less area that I need to cover with projectiles. Sounds fine by me. 
Decrease the range, increase the size. That's what I say. What would it go up to with that? 12? Oh my gosh. Do I want... Let, no, I don't want pistol. I don't want pistol anything. I need, want submachine gun. I'm skipping. Submachine gun is what I need. Can't... Can't be... Satisfied is what I plead. This batter, yeah, the submachine gun is what I need. Uh, this battle, I will succeed. Uh, maybe I should just go for... Should I just go for the thing? Maybe. Because less size is not what I... It's not... That's not what I want. That's not what I need. That's not anything. I could just... I could go for the bubble blaster again. But... I've already gotten the bubble blaster before. What's the point in me doing that when I've already gotten it before? What's the point of me doing something that I've already done? Like, that's no fun at all. Honestly, at this point, yeah, actually, um, per elimination for this wave. Yeah, I'll just go with that. Because I'm thinking, right, like... It actually doesn't really matter how many enemies I kill. It just matters how quickly the round ends, or the wave ends. So... This would actually be a good time to have that minus five second wave. Because then you'd get stuff faster. But at the same time, you'd also be using up a slot that could be used for something good, or possibly better. Bright blast of solar residue, these whimsical shapes fly at inconsistent speeds and with varying sizes. Interesting. I'm, I'm spraying fairy dust all over the place. That is, that is, that is what I'm learning from this. I am shooting fairy dust everywhere. Heat Seeker Swarm. A swarm of cosmic magical missiles that burn microbes on contact. Short range is made up for their crazy damage potential. Do they come with homing or something? Or is it just... Maybe, I don't know. Definitely, the bubble thing is definitely better. Kind of feels like that they do slightly have homing. Maybe, kind of, possibly. Um... Increase size is what I need. Um, I I um, um
I don't know the rest of these work this song. Um go with that. Fire rate. Uh more fire rate but less size. That's not really what I want, but at the same time I could get other things that are gonna increase the size, so I'm not that worried. We'll just go with fire rate for now and then hope that we get stuff in the future that's gonna increase the size. Because right now they're very small. Like I said, size does matter, and right now I'm kind of lacking in the size department. I'm going to be honest with everyone here. Kind of lacking. Oh. I. Oh, this is annoying. Um, because none of these are really that good for me. I'll go with that, I guess. I mean, because there are a lot of them. There's, you know, 12 projectiles. So, theoretically, I could definitely see this doing somewhat well. Yeah, increased fire rate, definitely what I want. Don't really care about accuracy, just care about size. Come on, let's get some more size, please. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of fireworks. Come on, whenever, what's taking so long to freaking, is my thing broken? I was not firing, what? I don't, I don't understand. I do not understand. Homing, no. This is fun. I could play this game for hours. Which is why I need to be careful about how long this video gets. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, none of this even... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna not do that. Um... Wish you could look at. Or, oh, there are. Ar, okay, Arsenal. Okay. Um. So we made this thing. I think I'm gonna try to go for this thing next. I think I'll do it. We'll just do extract. Just that. Oh, there's. Oh, there's so much. Oh, there is so much. Oh, there's... Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. There's so much more. There's so much more. Okay, um... We're going for that, so I think we're gonna start. Actually, yeah, we'll just start with this. Just the usual. How long have I been recording for? It's probably like an hour, right? Almost an hour. Oh, I almost got it. 
Um, Submachine gun, fast firing bomb launchers that spits out what? Weaker explosives, which are shaky, but they're their increased quantity of helps. I think I'll keep that. Because eventually I'm going to want that, so. Yeah, I mean, their accuracy already is really bad, but. It's fine. Like I said, the frequency of how of them shooting out is definitely helpful. Less damage, less accuracy, but it's fine. What else do I need? Okay, I need two shotguns. We're going to buy that. Because it doesn't do anything now. But as soon as we get the shotgun, we're gonna we're gonna be golden. Gonna be golden. Um, yeah, as soon as as soon as we get the shotgun, is what I said. We have to get the shotgun first. Come on, game. Work with me here. Work with me. I really have not done much with the submachine gun. I don't know why. I've been so focused on other weapons, I haven't really done much with the submachine gun. Oh my gosh, the freaking... The accuracy on this thing is... Absolute garbage. Oh wait, yeah, I've already done s the starburst thing. Forgot about that. I might have forgot I've already had this weapon. Look at that, though. Now, that really looks like fireworks. That's awesome. Ricky Fag, no. We'll go with that. Do that. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely curious to see, like, what the next, um, what the next weapon is. Stardust Mortar, a fantastical showering of celestial barf. It's high knockback projectiles burst into flak, showing that nothing escapes the bright explosions. Oh. Okay, that's intriguing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just, I'm a, I'm gonna stick with the star bubble thing. I think I'm gonna just stick with that. This thing here. I'm gonna stick with the double. The bubble blaster. Um, how much? How long is the video so far? We're going after. We're going over an hour with this. Um, so we're just gonna we're gonna do this again, but this time we're gonna focus more on bombs, and then we'll get one of the. We'll just get one thing.
get one submachine gun thing going. Okay, first of all, I'm not sure how much sticky costs. It's 25. Perfect. Because we want sticky. We want, we want... <laughs> not saying that on, on YouTube. I don't think YouTube's gonna... You know what? I'm not monetized anyways. We want Sticky Vicky is what we want, okay? What do we want? Sticky Vicky. When do we want her? Now. If you don't watch the side men, you're not you're probably not gonna understand who Sticky Vicky is, but Or if you're not a freak, then you also might not understand. <laughs> Based on those two sentences alone, you might be able to dis distinguish who Sticky Vicky is. Anyway, we're gonna move on. Okay, let's just let's keep focusing this and then try to See where we go. See where this. See where this takes us. Where this journey. Where this journey leads. So far, we got the mini nuke. Love to see it. Love to see it. Always nice to have a mini nuke on your side in your arsenal. Um, okay, let's try to get, there we go, we got the submachine gun, we got it locked, okay, our damage is now in decreased, but it's fine, we just got to focus on healing from now on. And we'll be okay. We will be able to acquire the necessary healing that we need. We'll decrease their speed. We don't need healing right now. We need sub a submachine gun. That's what we need. When life gives you lemons, shoot it with a submachine gun. That's what I say. Mega Mine Launcher, a direct upgrade of Mine Launcher that plants even beefier explosive mines at mid-range. And detonate on contact or after sitting too long, producing a big blast. Not my cup of tea. Really not my cup of tea. I think I would prefer... Um... The bubble blaster. I think I would. It's really... Just, Oh, that type of weapon, not really, like I said, not really my cup of tea. Um, <laughs> the bubble blaster is just, it's so good. It's just so good. Okay, well, I think we're gonna... Uh... Oh, cool, and then you can get... Stuff. Uh, oh, these are just awards, okay. Oh. 
this. Okay. Unlock condition unknown. Probably beat victory depth five, maybe, on like all of them. I don't know. Figure it out. Um Okay, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Wow. That's that's cool. Brood mode ten times. <laughs> Microbes menu. Tank, Zip Tide, Spike Blast. Extra for four thousand. Yeah, you have to to buy it in here. But uh, I'll take a crosshair though. That seems cool. Um, but yeah, did, they, did I unlock anything else? No. And then, like I said, we're gonna check out the jester in the next one. Oh, it ch oh it changes each time. Okay. That is interesting. You're fed. What happened? What in the world? Uh, wait. Nobody likes you. Choose. Oh my. How do you get it to stay on one? Does it just... Oh my gosh. Health gains during a weapon decrease health and said chicken, nacho supreme, cosmetic stat bonuses, fire rate uses the wrong color. Bro, what is happening? Shred. <laughs> what? <laughs> For feel more of oversized. And plus four second uh at max five is destroyed when out of fuel. But at, by at most one when hit. This is hilarious. Oh, this is this is gonna be amazing to use in the next video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on and subscribe to the channel. It mean the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And um and yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Uh, again, shout out to Alferior for sending me the full game. I really do appreciate it, and yeah. See you guys later.